Good morning, everybody. Today is a travel day. We've packed up all our bags. And here's Nikita. Hi. She's just been addicted to playing her little phone game. What are you even playing? Um, not really sure what it's called. But One I just these games. I just call it the burger game, but So we've come halfway across the world to Lake Cowie and all you do is play a little burger game for hours. Well, it, it's, 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 it works, it's the mind games. Anyways guys, this is our last day in Langkawi. Langkawi has been very nice to us and it was very, very relaxing. Um, the two the last couple of days has been kind of boring though because it's been storming and you, you can't really go on the beach and there's not much else to do except go on the beach. So we've just been cooped inside. So I'm ready to head off to Penang. We're going to catch a ferry, oh. a three-hour ferry to Penang. But where's the ferry? It's some Eagle place, right? Eagle Square. So we'll see you guys there yeah. at Eagle Square. Be there or be square. Be yeah. there or be Eagle Square. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just ready here, just ready to leave, ready to check out of this room. But we can't leave for another five minutes because Nikita has five minutes of infinite life still on her game, so we can't do it. You don't always get infinite life, so when you do, you need to make the most of it, okay? We're eating at Seashells restaurant today, but it seems extremely empty. So it's open for lunch and dinner, is that right? Yes. But mainly people do it for lunch over the rice paddies? Um, I think so, because when it's dark, you can't really see how picturesque it is. So this is it, guys. What do you think, bro? I love it so far and it's actually it's really hot outside but when you come in here it's nice and shaded so it's pretty cool. So we chose to get the sea bass in sweet and sour sauce um, and then it also comes with salted egg, fish crackers, onion soup, fried bean curd, local green salad, spicy prawn gravy and tamarind sauce. Ah, and that, that's only less than $20 for both of us. That's pretty damn cheap. That is cheap. That's like $10 each. Mm. The skin is very crispy. That sounds good. Ready? Ooh. Ooh. That looks nice and meaty. The meat looks so nice against the red skin. Should I just try it? Yeah, try one. Ready? Try a nice bite. Ooh, it's warm. Ooh. You'd hope it's warm. No, like it's like hot. Yeah, you'd hope so. <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> Yum. If yours doesn't have meat, feel free to take some of this. Yum. It's a nice little fish steak we got there. It's kind of like fish and chips. True, it's fried. Like a battered fish. Fish and rice. And let's try these sauces as well. Oh! oh. No good? Spicy? What? Whoa! What is it? This one is so flavorful and so strong that I don't even know what I tasted. Like it just, it literally just punched me in the face. I don't quite like it. It's just <laughs> so strong. Your reaction seems like you did. <laughs> no, I was, no, it was more like, whoa. Oh. <laughs> I feel like someone slapped me in the face. That's what that sauce is like. Should I try this one? Yes, the sweet and sour. Mmm. It's like um McDonald's nugget sauce. <laughs> <laughs> really? Well, kind of. It's sweet and sour sauce. Yeah. Yum! Let me put some of this on it. On my fish. Alright, ready? Fish, rice, and the sauce. Mmm. 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 Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's really nice. We picked a good one. We don't normally order fish, but this is really nice. We finished our meal, everybody, and I actually really enjoyed it. I think it's something you should definitely check out if you do. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's it's really nice how it's it's really empty and you just kind of got the bungalow to yourself and I think it makes a world of difference because like you can you kind of just like sprawl out and I feel like really relaxed and it, it actually feels so different to eating in a restaurant at a table. Yeah. I think if I ate this food just in a normal restaurant, I probably wouldn't have enjoyed it as much. Yeah. But because it's out in the fresh air. It's just the whole environment. Yeah. It's kind of like... You, you remember these experiences when you're back home and you think back to your holiday and you're like yeah. remember when i was sitting on the floor eating some nice food yeah. at the rice paddy yeah we're here at eagle square because we're catching a ferry to penang at three o'clock so we have like two and a half hours to kill oh, what i keep saying 
You gotta stand in front of me. Look how big you make my head look. Yes, and it's called Eagle Square because there's a big eagle there. It looks small right now on my fingers, but it's actually quite huge. Hello! <laughs> look, it's a cool eagle, but I don't know whether I'd come here just for that. You want to take a picture with her, don't you? Of course I do! What? <laughs> Nikita, if you didn't know, started an Instagram page called... What's it called? Me with statues. And what is it? Do you want Me to with statues. But this one might be a bit too big. Yeah, we'll do it. I, I named the Instagram page for her. I thought it was very clever. Very straight to the point. Yeah. Very easy to understand. Yeah. Because there's a lot of stupid people out in the world, isn't there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. Well, not really. But I'm one of those people, so it's alright. I'm not sure whether you guys can see, but that sign with those red signs there say no climbing. But people love to climb. And there's the big boy in all his glory. He doesn't really look that big on camera, but it's probably like a solid 10 meter statue or something like that. Do you want me to look up the statistics? Nobody cares about the statistics. I know, I don't really I am care. the statistic. It's huge, that's all you need to know. You guys just take my word for it, okay? This is my channel. I am the law. Does anybody know what kind of animal this is? Is that a lizard? I think it might be a lizard. A it's lizard's like, related to alligators. I know, but it's like the size of a baby alligator. It's so big. Well, I thought it was an alligator. What the heck? Look at this guy, he's huge. We then boarded the ferry and strapped ourselves in for a three hour ride to the food capital of Malaysia, Penang. We made it to Penang everybody and we're staying in a place called Georgetown. We just got off the ferry. Thank God as well. I was starting to get really sick on the ferry. I had to and eat the Pringles in case you needed to puke in the tin. Yes, that's why you ate the Pringles. It <laughs> <laughs> it's like a one to two kilometer walk to our hotel and we're gonna walk there instead of catching a taxi which only costs about a dollar a bit over it's under two dollars to catch a taxi but you know this way we get to see a bit of g town georgetown for you non-locals over in g town we call it g town oh. are you like yes oh. i'm part malaysian if you guys didn't realize it's actually really pretty here it looks like yeah. really old it looks like Looks kind of like an old English town or old American town or something like that. Um, but I wonder why it's called Georgetown. It's a very Caucasian name, isn't it? I wonder who George is, is and what he did to get a town in Malaysia named after him. Maybe we'll have to look it up. Yeah. This is what about 30 something dollars gets you in G Town. It's actually quite nice. Definitely better than our um, hotel in Langkawi, which was like more than double the price of this. And I'm gonna say it's definitely worth the money. I can't believe this was $31. Check out the bathroom. Yeah, let's go have a look at the bathroom. Oh, yeah, basic bathroom, nice and clean though. The room is massive. What the There's hell? the pooper. There's so much room for activities. Yeah. This is really good because you know how when you get like a three star-ish hotel, you know it could go out of the way. You could walk in there and it's going to be a dump. Or you can go in there and you're going to be like, oh, this was really good value for money. And this is one of them where it's like, this is pretty good value for money. Oh, wait. Should we see if the bed's comfy? Oh, yes. Very soft. Oh, the pillow is very hard, but the bed's soft. How beautiful was G Town, everybody? Yes. I mean, with for me, it didn't even feel like that long of a walk because I was just so busy looking at all the pretty things. But it's so pretty here, and I can't wait to explore with you guys. What about me? You can't wait to explore with me as well. Let's wait till Nikita falls asleep and we'll go exploring. Okay? Don't let her know though. I hate you. No, she didn't. I'm feeling fresh to death now because I've just showered and it's quite late at the moment. It's, what's the time, Bob? Eight o'clock maybe? Seven, eight, uh, yeah, eight. 
It's eight o'clock right now, so so we're gonna go have just a little bit of a late dinner, and we probably. Hey, hey, hey. And we probably won't get a good chance to explore G Town just yet, but tomorrow, oh man, tomorrow we are gonna have a good time exploring G Town. I tell you that. 